Standing up in front of your whole class takes guts, and 12-year-old Fazil has lots. Let me tell you about the bad stuff in my life and how I cope with it. He's decided to tell the world about his rare skin condition, starting with his Year 7 tutor group. I don't let EB stop me doing stuff that I want to do, so I do karate every Friday. Fazil was born with epidermolysis bullosa, which means his skin's as thin as butterfly wings. It tears and blisters with the slightest impact. Walking, eating, even sneezing causes constant pain. Why are you doing this? I'm doing this first of all to uh, raise awareness because obviously uh, EB is such a rare condition, one in 100,000 people have it and I'm pretty sure I was the first one in Croydon to have this condition. I want everyone in the school, you know, first of all my tutor group to know about me and, you know, I don't want anyone to really stare. Fazil's already been on TV talking about his condition. In the summer, he featured on Paul O'Grady's Little Heroes, getting treatment at Great Ormond Street Hospital. How do you stay so cheerful and so optimistic? And it's amazing, isn't he? Absolutely amazing. You really are, you know. I think you're extraordinary. Today, he gave frank responses to his classmates' questions. I fell down the stairs on Halloween night and the skin came off on my toes and... That's why for that period of time, I couldn't actually wear shoes, so I wore sandals to school. Until now, I didn't really know much about EB um, and, how, and how it can affect his life. If I had it, I would be like, I wouldn't know how to like deal with it, and I think he deals with it in a very good way. Uh, I think it must be very painful for him, definitely. It's natural. They might stare why his hands are like that. They had questions in their mind, and we saw it that they, they, they ask the questions. So I'm sure now their way of dealing with them and thinking definitely changed. Fazil's ambition is to become a doctor and find a cure for EB. It'll take commitment and courage. And from what we've seen today, he might just do it. Carolyn Sim, ITV News.